Mini cartilage reconstruction, 3D animation. The indication for the procedure is a focal defect of the articular cartilage. In this case, we can see cartilage damage known as the Kissin lesion. The defect is located on the lateral condyle of the femur and overlaps with an area of damage on the tibial plateau. Lack of proper treatment can lead to knee pain and progressive cartilage degeneration. The consequence can be also further damage to the joint surface on the opposite side. As a result, post-traumatic knee osteoarthritis, post-traumatic gonarthrosis may develop within a few years. The cartilage reconstruction surgery aims to fill the defect with tissue that will obtain properties as close as possible to natural cartilage. This will help restore the articular surface continuity and prevent further mechanical damage to cartilage and post-traumatic gonarthrosis. Cartilage is reconstructed based on a mixture obtained from atelogous chondral fragments harvested from the unloaded part of the patient's joint, atelogous conditioned plasma, ACP, obtained from the patient's blood, At the beginning of the procedure, the cartilage defect must be thoroughly depreted with a shaver. Then, the orthopedist uses special tools, chondrectums, to prepare the bone for the mixture implantation. The defect on the tibial plateau is debridement in the same way. The chondral fragments needed for the mixture preparation are collected using the shaver. A collector for the chondral fragments is connected to the suction outlet of the shaver. In this case, the cartilage is taken from the area adjacent to the intercondylar notch of the femur. The shaver cuts off the cartilage fragments that are transported to the collector thanks to the suction system. Then, the collected chondral fragments are put into a syringe. Atologist conditioned plasma, ACP, is obtained by centrifuging venous blood taken from the patient. The ACP syringe and the syringe containing the chondrant fragments are connected. A homogeneous mixture can be achieved by moving the contents back and forth between the syringes. A special cannulated tip is connected to the syringe with the ready-made mixture. The tip is arthroscopically inserted into the knee. The cartilage defect is gradually filled with the prepared mixture. Thrombin concentrate obtained from an additional portion of the patient's plasma is applied to the mixture. Thrombin enables the formation of a stable clot that immobilizes the mixture in the defect. Three conditions must be met for effective cartilage reconstruction. The presence of cells stimulating tissue regeneration, chondrocytes taken from the patient, Growth factors released from platelets contained in ACP, inducing differentiation, proliferation and metabolic activity of cells. A scaffold, thrombin, to ensure the integrity of the developing tissue. The animation presents a simplified cartilage regeneration process. Our resonance images show the regenerated cartilage layer replacing the defect site on the femoral condyle six weeks after surgery. Cartilage tissue regeneration, filling the defect on the TBL plateau. Ultrasound imaging, restored continuity of the femoral articular surface. Patient 10 weeks after cartilage reconstruction surgery, after feeling the defect on the femoral lateral condyle and the tibial plateau of the right knee. 
the same patient 12 weeks after surgery. If you want to watch a video of real cartilage reconstruction surgery performed by our orthopedist Grzegorz Jarosławski, click on the link in the description. If you have any questions regarding cartilage reconstruction surgery, do not hesitate to contact us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with the news from our hospital.